Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing my first ever cooking video. It's actually gonna be baking, but I've had a lot of requests on Instagram for me to start uploading videos on how I do a lot of the meals that I prepare. I honestly have such a love for cooking and baking, and I didn't know I had this love until I, we got married almost a year ago, and I just love exploring with lots of ingredients and making new recipes and I am no expert whatsoever but honestly what it really takes is taking the risk and sometimes your food's gonna be good and sometimes it's gonna be really bad but it's all about trying and it's all about getting out of your comfort zone once you really start to cook I feel like you create your own little taste a little sazon is that what it's called and it just makes your food so much different so without further ado i'm going to show you guys how i bake some pumpkin scones so i'll show you right now for our dry ingredients we're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour a half a cup of light brown sugar one and a half teaspoons of baking powder one teaspoon of cinnamon half a teaspoon of kosher salt one fourth teaspoon of ground ginger and one pinch of ground cloves. You're gonna need some unsalted butter, some organic pumpkin puree, I found mine at Trader Joe's, also some vanilla extract and heavy cream, but in this case I use just regular milk. We then start by mixing all of our dry ingredients together in a bowl. salted butter into little pieces and put that into our mixture of flour that we already have. We're going to use a pastry blender in order to cut the butter into the mixture but I didn't have one at this time so instead I decided to use a fork to help me blend the butter into the mixture. As you see I'm having a little bit of a hard time doing this so I just decided to go in with my hands to blend in the butter into the mixture. heavy cream and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. you but this always happens to me my dry ingredients keep being dry even after adding the wet ingredients so what I did is I made some extra mixture of the milk the pumpkin puree and the vanilla extract and I started to add it little by little just to make sure I got the consistency that I needed for our scones The next thing that 
we're gonna do is prepare our surface with some flour in order for our dough to be nicely molded into the shape that you want it to be. So if for any reason your dough is having a hard time or it's sticking into the surface, then you can add some extra flour for you to be able to mold it just the right way that you want. So we want to make sure that we are shaping our dough into a thick circle. Then we are going to be using a pizza cutter in order to cut triangles out of this circle in order to have the shape of our scones. Then we'll put your scones to bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 24 minutes until puffed and set. So while your scones are cooling off, you're going to get some white chocolate baking chips and you're going to melt them either in the stovetop or in the microwave in order to decorate our scones.